What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Cast. It is a rainy day here in Japan. It's actually a typhoon right now. There's one rolling through Kyushu. It's uh, destroying a lot of stuff, actually. Kind of wreaking havoc in southern Japan. So my heart goes out to uh, those friends living in southern Japan. Uh, going through it right now. Uh, as I'm sitting here, just kind of enjoying this weather, the cool temperatures brought along with the typhoon. I'm in a pretty safe place, guys, so if you heard about, uh, you know, people being evacuated, I think it's like 2 million people or something got evacuated recently. Um, and some people actually died from landslides and stuff. I am in a safe place, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm here in central Japan and just chilling, uh, watching some Brood War. And hanging out with you guys. So we're going to be watching JYJ who spawned here in the top left hand corner versus Hyun over here in the center right. And I wanted to take a look at this replay today because we just watched Hyun versus Flash. I'll put a link up here in the top corner. Um, if you guys want to check out that video, Hyun played very, very well. So kind of excited to see him against JYJ here. JYJ started out with an 8 racks. He's going to start to pressure right off the bat. Wants to come across the map. Try to put on uh, a little bit of hurt to the early economy here of Hyun, who got the Overlord right over to the natural uh, off the bat. Ooh, wait a second. He kills the drone? Uh oh, Hyun. That was not even close. Um, maybe panicking a little bit, seeing that there was uh, an 8 racks coming. He's going to take a lot of damage on this drone, too. He's going to have to send that back to mining and pull quite a few drones to hold this off. Already not a great start here. So this 8-Rex has already done some damage. One drone going down. That's not enough to, you know, even out the odds here against uh, such an early hatchery out of Hyun. But it is, you know, a step in the right direction. There's the spawning pool that just finished up. How many lings are we going to make? I think he's pushed things back for long enough that he doesn't actually need to engage with the drones. He's still thinking about it. He's trying to buy as much time as possible. He's going to go around here. I think the right call is to come up here and try to catch that next marine that's coming out. The lings that are popping from these eggs should be able to shut down the bunker if you pull the... Yeah, okay, he didn't catch that marine. That's unfortunate. He's going to flank this. Let's see how this goes. How many drones can be targeted down? One drone goes down. You cannot target with the bunker. Second drone goes down. Third drone goes down. Fourth drone goes down. So total of five kills here for JYJ. Really ravaging this economy. Eight drones remain. And more lings were produced as well to... To, to try and finish that off. Look at how many lings we actually have here. 12 lings remain after that. I'm not sure how many lings went down. I think probably no lings fell. I was actually more focused on the drones there, so I wasn't able to see that, but I really don't think many drones went down during that nice repair there. Just keeping one SCV in the corner and two SCVs behind it to repair. You're never going to break through that with just a single ling able to hit that. Uh, one single SCV and now Hyun in a really tough spot. We'll see how he maneuvers his way out of this. Oh, he's going to open up the wall to try and get uh, a, a, a Marine through. And you know what? What is this? Five Lings make their way into the main base. He's going to get the full scout. He sees the second barracks on the way. A few SCVs will go down. Three kills so far. Four kills. This is a really good play from Hyun and... Man, JYJ's got to be kicking himself right now for not uh, keeping that gap closed up. He didn't want to lose the Marine. He thought that maybe Hun would come forward and just try to kill the Marine if he kept that gap closed. Uh, so he opened up the door and Hyun just taking massive advantage of that. Still has one Ling alive in the main and we are completely evened out. Actually, I would say Hyun is uh, even in an advantage now. So the layer is coming up. Drone saturation is looking fantastic. He made no lings behind this. So there could be a bit of pressure coming, but he's got the Overlord over the natural. He sees exactly what's happening here. He can't quite see the gap, which would give me a little bit of pause, but 
Yeah, you might want to have like one ling out here just to see. Okay, he will see these marines moving out. That is very important. He sees the marines coming. He's going to uh, produce four sets of lings. Four sets of lings. Eight lings going to be on the way. That's That's enough. That's enough. We've only got seven marines here. Seven marines are on the way. We've got a third hatch coming. He just has to bring all the links together. He cannot bleed any links before all eight are here. So there they are. Eight links. And he will take this engagement. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Not quite yet. Um, I don't want... I wouldn't want him to get tucked away into a corner here. But he's going to bring the drones as well. They're actually kind of blocking the links a little bit. Which is not great. Like the links are not getting great surface area here because of the drones. But... We will clean all of this up. He waited for a few more links to pop out. And this is kind of a desperation play from JYJ. It doesn't end up working. And now he is even further behind. He's in an even worse spot right now. Which I don't know if he's going to be able to bail himself out of. The leaks are uh, probably going to be fatal here. Spire coming up now. It's quite late. Of course, so much action has gone on. But I think that's going to be fine. It's not a big problem. As long as we have taken out those marines and there's not really anything that can push us in the front. We don't even need to make sunken colonies. But he's going to put one down just in case. The fire bat, a few fire bats coming out could be a little bit dangerous. So he's going to go ahead and get that going. Two sunken colonies actually. So playing it extra safe. Little bit of a SCV lead, but scans the front. He sees the number of sunken colonies. He knows he can't break through that. Certainly not with just one medic and this few number of marines. So even one sunken colony could have handled this uh, with a few lings popping out. But he wants to make all mutas. And he will get going on that seven mutas about to come out. And flyer attacks on the way. This is going to be hard to hold. You can see JYJ realizing that. Throwing down a bunker in that corner kind of a funny little pocket there for the bunker i've never seen that bunker placement <laughs> he stims a marine into the bunker i think that stim will not uh affect this but you never know <laughs> maybe the overlord flies in uh i think that time timer is up now um so the stim has worn off and the marine there just gonna hang out in that bunker one marine in the bunker kind of funny um, two, uh, one marine and a fire bat in this bunker in the front. You can just see how low JYJ is, uh, in his overall, like, army count. Oh, flying through now. Yeah, I'm gonna take, do a lot of damage here in the back line. Quite a few SCVs going down so far. Oh, a little bit of miss micro there. Gonna end up losing one mute, I think. No, just barely not. With six HP manages to survive, so a bit of the juggling of the aggro there. Working in Hyun's favor. Doesn't have any more mutas on the way just yet. He's transitioning with that plus one armor coming online. It's a great way to take advantage of a good position, right? Your little advantage becomes a very big advantage if you can get uh, your armor going really early on. Get your way up into uh, Hive. We've got a fire bat down here in the bottom left. Just checking around for an extra base. But it's actually this high ground over here which will be taken. Securing three bases. But it's going to be harder to secure four if he wants to go into ultra play. That might give an option for JYJ to make a comeback in this game. He's got two starports on the way. There's always that kind of downtime in between when the mutas are really powerful. And when the ultralists finally come online where you're not really going to be getting out on the map much. And you're just kind of at the the mercy of the Terran player. That they're they've got full map control. They've got full autonomy about what they want to do, uh, where, where they want to you know deal damage or try to attack into. Drop play is a big thing. Uh, just bust set the front can be devastating. And so Hyun here, as he starts to fall back on his tech and really get his macro going with this third base coming online um i mean J it's the 
Ball is in JYJ's court. He's going to decide what he wants to do, where he wants to attack into. That's a lot of lings, though. I think that this Marine Medic Ball will probably end up getting completely knocked out. If he combines these, like, 24 lings with the 11 mutas, he should be able to wipe this out. A reinforcement wave is coming. Will he be able to get on top of this before that happens, before this these two forces join up? He could absolutely dive on top of this, too. Diving on top of this would be fantastic. Okay, he's going to jump on that. Gets the reinforcement wave. Meanwhile, going into the natural, I don't know about this move. JYJ, he's going to dive in try to fight these two sunken colonies with a huge amount of links coming up to flank him and the mute is coming as well he just completely gets wiped out beautiful play here from yuck or from hyun excuse me one single fire with four kills gonna run down here he's got two hp on that gets one drone will limit the amount of mining here for just a second but not any more damage has siege mode on the way jyj starting to pump out siege tanks i don't know about that play but yeah definitely need to add on some more barracks here get these uh science vessels rolling with only two gas you can't really afford siege tanks siege mode and irradiate plus vessels all at the same time it's just it's a little bit too much can't actually be afforded all at the same time. Here comes the Mutalisk attack. Just running right up on top of this with the Lings as well. Ooh. Okay. I like it. I like it. Irradiating his own vessels. So he can clear out these Lings a little bit more efficiently. We'll clear out most of those. But the Irradiate came in just at the end point of that fight, unfortunately. If he had that at the beginning of the fight, he would have cleared that way better. Probably saved both of his tanks or all three of his tanks. But he loses all of those and so the tank count getting reset he's not even making tanks he invested a lot to get this uh tank push going you know he he bought the um siege mode i don't know if he canceled that i actually wasn't paying attention at the moment when that fight was going on he may have canceled but i think he allowed that to finish and so so much has gone wrong here this game for jyj oh only two mining on the gas that's actually really bad this is something that could end your game um as a zerg player if you're just not mining uh in enough workers on gas it's uh it's brutal it is absolutely brutal it's one of the worst ways the worst feelings uh, losing a game like this when you're playing really well and I mean he is playing beautifully great snipes on those two science vessels absolutely fantastic moves here from Hyun sniping vessel he's doing so well he's cleared up everything he's done an amazing job there we go he's got three on the gas okay good to see that he managed to catch that it just looks wrong you, you really have to train your eyes as a Zerg player to notice these things but i think now with that third gas fully online he's gonna go for a fourth and i don't think he's stoppable at this point jyj is gonna have a really hard time shutting him down plus one is done plus two's on the way but i think plus two armor is going to come in first yeah look at that plus two is way ahead of jyj's upgrade that is what you love to see as a zerg player JYJ moving out his vessel count has been heavily reduced not just due to the fact that a bunch of them were sniped but also that he went ahead and built those tanks rested production on his starports for so long he just does not have that vessel number that we would usually see out of him he's not doing he's not uh, making any dropships or anything right now it's the time of the dropship is actually passed uh, once you have some ultras out on the field, even one ultra can beat a, a dropship's worth of marine medic. And so building them is just, it's no longer really worth it. And he's just going to be investing everything into this ground army. Maybe try to get the third base operational, but he really needs to shut down this fourth. It's all about the fourth base right now for Hyun. If he manages to get that online, the game is just never gonna end well for jyj and uh terran playing passive right now oh is he actually gonna take this engagement what is this the worst engage you've ever seen in your life 
for these ultras. Look at how many are running around at the back, not actually fighting. But it's not even going to matter. He recognizes that he's at an upgrade advantage right now. Four armor to the, just the one attack of these marines. They are going to get wiped. Well, you know what? JYJ holds. He actually holds on another wave of ultras coming up here. Finally, some Scourge coming forward too. Oh my gosh, the Scourge is not even wanting to connect. Finally, pushing through. Killing off most of those Marines. Some more Marines, of course, popping out. There's a, quite a lot of barracks behind this. But he's just taking a brilliant engagement. And the plus two is not even going to finish on these Marines. The Ultras just clear their way through. That was a little bit scary, though, man. That is not the attack you're hoping for um, or looking for as Hyun. Like, you want to attack at that that proper timing. But if you throw that Ultralis army away, you're going to be in a bit of trouble He's just getting that fourth gas online. So three gas economy. You cannot support that many ultras. The timing was great though. Really, really smart play from Hyun to as soon as he gets the advantage, throw down the evolution chamber and just start the upgrades because you know that Terran is going to be a little bit slow on everything. And if they don't get that science vessel or science facility down in time, they're not going to be able to get that plus two. They might even just go with one uh, eBay, get plus one, then plus one armor before getting plus two. So you can get a big advantage by just having that one upgrade over the Terran opponent. Really, you'd rather or you'd much prefer. It's really essential to be ahead on the gauze rifle upgrades of your uh, Zerg opponent. Like you can't, you, you got to be at least one upgrade ahead usually. Uh, to stand any chance against the Ultralist Flood, but being ahead in upgrades, it's a pretty easy closer. A little bit scary going through this choke point, only having like four or five Ultras attacking, the rest running back here, but he makes it happen. He makes it work. Great, smart play from Hyun in the early game. Leads him to an easy victory, even with a bad engagement. Guys, thank you so much for watching this little cast. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next one.